Welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. Today I'm going to show you how to use all these different types of watercolor brushes that I have in my hand and uh, what the various uses are for these particular type of brushes. So let's get started. Okay, first up we have this angled flat brush. How you do that, you just get some water on your brush. You can use it in a variety of ways. You can use it just the edge of this for lines like this. Zoom in. Or lines like this. Or twist it like that. You can get the just the tip part with a dark fill your brush up with uh, the watercolor and get the tip part with a concentrated dark color and you can create some fun blended lines. And this is just a plain old flat angled brush and you could also just make nice straight lines like that. That's that brush. Next up, we have a liner brush. Liner brushes come in various uh, lengths also. This is number four. You get it wet with your paint. And I use this a, a variety of ways. One of my favorite ways to use this is to, use, to do nice, fun outlines on flowers. Watch this, like that. Very loose. Like that. It's also good to use it for writing. And just the lines in general. Grass. Can make nice little teeny skinny lines. So there's three uses for the liner brush. The one here I use mostly and sometimes here. And then of course, the grass. Next up, number eight, long round. Long round brushes that come in different sizes. This is number eight. And what's great about these is it has a nice belly and a great point. So what you can do with that is push down and pull up, make nice little petals. You can use the point in a variety of ways. And then the belly fills it in, the point in the belly. It has a nice point to it also because it's very versatile at this point. You can use this for scripting too, if you want. So this, uh, the long rounds are very versatile. You can use it in a variety of ways. And that's the long round. Then here's a script brush. This comes in variety of sizes. This is number four. Obviously the word script makes you want to think you could use it as a script and you do. It's kind of like a liner brush, but it has a little more belly to it. So if you're going to write words, you have the point for the skinny part and the belly to push down for the larger part. Now, scripting with watercolor takes time and practice, but you can also use it, like I said, as a liner brush. It has a belly, so you can do the point and pull down. And these are the nice things you can do with this brush. And you get the point also make nice skinny little lines. And that's the script brush. Okay, now we have a filbert brush. This brush is a number eight filbert. Kind of like an oval, just smaller, smaller size brush. Various uses for this. 
and get some green on here you can make nice petals leaves pushing down on the belly pulling up and it goes into a point because you can kind of use it on the angle so you get those nice pretty leaves and then you can also make nice petals with it like so push this over here pretty little petals obviously the bigger size filbert the bigger size petals but you're just basically pushing down and pulling up very easy to make petals with this brush and still you can make little lines when you hold it on a side like that cute little petals to make with the filbert brush next up the oval brush this is a pointed oval brush i use this a lot in my videos this is a half inch uh, oval brush this is by princeton you make fantastic petals leaves with this one it's got the point so you can use it like this and then you can go back in and use put in the leaves just by pressing down and pulling up pushing down and pulling up the oval brush is great makes fantastic little leaves but you don't have to do it just for leaves you have to brush you can make flowers out of it also if you want to I use this brush sometimes to make nice fun sunflowers it just has that nice point to it you're just pushing and pulling up you get that sunflower with a nice oval brush now we use a round brush this is a simple round brush not much of a point the belly's decent sized belly but it's more straight and then it's got a little point this is good for almost everything and I use this one a lot in my videos that you've seen so you can paint nice petals with it you can fill in a large area with it it makes nice fatter rounder petals still has a little point so you can go in and use the point part for small ones and it's got a fairly large belly that if you need to fill in areas you can do that not pointy like the ovals you can still use it for grass or small areas if you need to but the belly of it is what generally I use the most for just to fill in large areas and that is just a regular round not a long round but a regular regular round brush oh last but not least the fan brush what do you do with the fan brush hmm well some of my videos you've seen me paint an area that would be grass like so grab the paint and then you take that fan brush and you go in and you whisk it up like this and you get some nice grass or texture but you can also use the ends of the fan brush you get and the paint here fill it up you could make really cool texture kind of like a linen texture i have to get more paint on this So, fairly get a good amount, not super watery, watery enough that it holds it on the brush. And you make the lines going across. You can see that. Fill it up on the paint. And you crisscross it. Then you get kind of like a basket or a a linen type texture that's really fun 
because there's so many of these little uh, brush points that you make that quick beautiful texture so if you want it to look like linen for a background and then paint on top of that with gouache or make a plaid and then you can still go back in and use it for grass or concentrated grass but the linen texture is a fun little trick that you can use with the fan brush that you can't use with any other brush. <laughs>